the Jubilee's Wreath Boutique. Tonight, I'm gonna to show you how to make this either a lotus flower or water lily. You tell me in the comments below what you think it looks like. I was trying to go for the petal that, that comes up and I'm gonna show you how you can fuse not only two pieces of mesh, but three pieces of mesh so that you can have a really beautiful color contrast. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take your poly burlap and your deco mesh. We're just gonna use the two colors this time. And um, you're going to lay the deco mesh over top of the poly burlap. I'm using the fuchsia poly burlap with a fuchsia um, deco mesh. Now, I don't know why this is, but they're supposed to both be 10 inches and one's a little bit longer, but that's okay. I'm gonna work with it and just make sure that we're kind of even on both sides. You're gonna take your wood burner. Um, I do have a piece of glass here. It's very important that you cut it on a piece of glass. You could even use a cookie sheet. I've seen people do that too. Um, as long as it doesn't have, you know, that, that uh, non-stick coating. So we're gonna cut this at 10 inches. I've already cut one edge here. So we're gonna just cut it and what it will do is it will fuse it together. Now the wood burner, if you look at the tip, that's the tip I'm using. It's got a uh, flat side and it's, I don't know, it's just like a straight edge. So um, you'll find all of that in my Amazon affiliate shop and I will list that below in the description box. So you're just gonna go down and very slowly go through each piece of mesh and while you do this it will fuse it together so when you open it up it's fused together which is really nice so i'm going to keep doing this and i will tell you how many um, petals we're going to use of this and we will work on the next step so we are going to take a eight inch wreath form this is from like hobby lobby joann's you can get these at consumercrafts.com um, and we're just going to take a piece of plastic canvas mesh. I use this a lot. It's very flexible. This is also in my Amazon shop. And also I believe you can get the eight inch frames there too. But um, you can find this or you should be able to find this in like where they sell yarn and embroidery at your local craft store. So I'm just going to take a zip tie here and I'm just going to connect it and then we will get started on our petals. As you can see, I have this petal. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, on the back side of it is a, our deco mesh and on the front side is our poly burlap. And I just kind of like the look of it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our petal here and I'm going to flip it over. I'm gonna lay it flat. And from one angle to the other angle, so from corner to corner, I am just going to gather it. And as I gather it, it kind of, it starts to form this petal, okay? So what I'm gonna do, because we're wanting this to kind of be a little bit more wider of a petal, is I'm going to fold it, and I'm going to take a zip tie, and I'm going to connect that so that we have somewhere to start here as we look at our petal. Okay, so when I'm looking at this, because I wanna to try to make like a, I'm going for a lotus flower, water lily type of a look. Um, so I want the petal to come, the shape up. And so when you look from the side, you're gonna see that really pretty deco mesh and then it's gonna be a paler pink inside. So that's what I'm going for. So I'm gonna take, we're gonna have, we have bar frames here. We have bar one, two, three, and four. I've ta taught you that before. And we're gonna start at the brackets and we are going to go um, right between bar four and bar three, we're going to cross and we're gonna put our first petal right there. Okay. So what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of shape my petals. Remember, I want them to come forward. All right, so now I'm gonna to go to the next spot and it's going to be the next bracket. And I'm going to do it the same thing. I'm gonna put my zip tie in between. I'm gonna take a pre-made petal here and you can make all your petals ahead of time and then put, put them down. 
okay? And I just wanna kinda play with it a little bit, okay? All right, so I have another one over here. So now, be, since I've done both of the brackets, I'm gonna go in between and put it one right in between it. So right on that, that number two bar frame, I guess this is one, two, three, and four, I'm sorry. I think I said four and three and ignore that. Um, so I'm just gonna put my zip tie underneath of it, take my pedal, and just connect it on to the frame. So I'm gonna just repeat this step. So basically what you're gonna need to do, okay, is you're gonna need to put them on the brackets and one in between. And so I'll come back and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so the next step, um, we're kind of taking this step by step because I wanna be very clear on what I want you to do. Um, I'm gonna take the two, the fuchsias, the poly burlap, and the deco mesh, and we still have them here, okay, and they're still kind of somewhat connected. We're going to take and we're going to add yellow um, poly, yellow deco poly mesh, or yeah, you know, deco mesh, guys. <laughs> so we're going to just take it, and I'm going to roll it out, and I'm going to lay the, you have the poly under here, the deco on top, and now we're going to layer the yellow on the bottom, Okay, so we're gonna add a third layer of mesh here between the two decos and the poly burlap mesh. If you're, if you're confused on like the different types of products I'm using, I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description box that I explain all the different meshes and burlaps that there is available so that you can kind of understand what, what I'm doing here. So we're gonna do that fusible method that I've taught you several videos ago. If you haven't watched any of those, I'm gonna link that video below too. I've been doing this for about a month now. Um, so I'm gonna take this and now we're going to go through with our wood burner, all three of them. So we're gonna, so we can fuse these together. So I'm gonna go through, I'm making sure that I'm going through the straight line of the poly burlap that's in between. I can see it. I don't know that you can see it, but I can see it. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, we have the three meshes together, okay? So that's what you got. So we're going to get cut eight of these. No, sorry. We're going to cut four of these petals. I'm sorry. So we're gonna cut four of them at 10 inches long, just like we did the other ones. We cut it at 10 inches long. We want that perfect square. Let's cut another one. You just wanna be really careful that you line these up really well. So just be a little bit more patient with this and I guarantee you will love the result when you're just a little bit patient with it. Okay. So I'm going to cut two more in a moment. So as you can see, I've got the yellow, the pink, and then the poly burlap underneath here. Okay. So I have my ruler here. I'm going to be careful that I don't touch. This is just more of a guide for me. I'm not going to touch this because this is plastic. Um, but we're cutting on that glass cutting board again, and I'm just going to go all the way down the middle and we're going to have two triangles here. Okay, all right, and that's what I want you to do. I want you to have two triangles. And what that does is that fuses it together. Okay, so let's, let me show you here, put this down. So now we have all of that fused together. So I just like the possibilities with all this, the different things that could be done when we do this kind of method. So I just really, I just like So now it. that we have our pieces already cut out, we are just going to, um, we're going to gather it on the long side, okay? So I'm just gonna, 
just gather it here. I just kind of like to bend over it just a little bit, just so that it helps some of this not to fray. So I'm just going to do that. And so we want to keep that, you know, that petal going upwards. And that's what you want right there because it's kind of what a lotus flower does or water lily, whatever you want to call us. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this on bar three. So you've got bar one, two, and three. So now we're going to just go in between each of these double petals that are on the base of this flower. Okay, so there you go. And now I'm just going to keep going around with this um, petal, like here's one that I already got done. And you could do any kind of, you know, color combination here with the meshes and the poly burlap, but I was looking on Google and I just saw this kind of like pink progression up into the yellow and I just thought that was really pretty. So I thought I'm gonna go with that. And who doesn't need a little bit of sunshine or spring in the dead of winter? <laughs> I'm in Michigan, so that's what's going on up here. So, all right, so let's just take one. I'm just gonna bend one end over, bend the other, and then just going to gather them together like that. Or you could just do one side until you get to the other one. And you're just going to, you know, you're just gonna play around with your petal a little bit here, okay? So I'm gonna put that right beside here. And you could go ahead and, and make these ahead of time like I did the other ones um, and put a little zip tie, you know, to have them ready. See how I'm kind of pulling on that petal because I want it to be open a little bit. I really want that water lily lotus type of feel. So I'm gonna keep going around and I'll come back and we will do the next step. Okay, so the next part we're gonna do is we, I went ahead and I cut four more um, lengths of 10 inch each and then cut it, you know, diagonally. And now we're gonna put them on the inside of where our plastic canvas is. So on this one, we are gonna roll it a little bit. We're going to just roll the sides in. We wanna make sure everything is laying nice here. Just roll the sides in, okay? Until it meets kind of like that, okay? Because we want our, our petals to kind of stand up. So I'm just gonna take it, and at this point you could either just put a zip tie around it if you wanted, or um, just hold it like I am. And I'm just going to put, now we wanna go in between the petals again. So I'm gonna keep it pretty consistent. And I'm gonna take my zip tie and go through the mesh here. Oops, this, I'm telling you, deco mesh gets your clothes <laughs> every time. And I wanna make sure that this, that the petals actually lay in between, okay? Because when you're looking from the side of your wreath, you don't wanna see the makings of the wreath, all right? So when I look from the side, yeah, that covers it up pretty good. So I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing and we're gonna go all the way around. I have one that's already made up here, so I'll just add it. And we're not right next to the bar, but we're like, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch from the bar of the wreath. And again, I'm gonna lay it and when you press it down, it kind of forces the petal up a little bit too, which I'm really liking that look. All right, so you're just gonna keep doing the same process over and over until we get to the metal. Okay, so what are we gonna do for the middle of this flower? So there's a few things that you can do, but um, I'm gonna just use some leftover, um, this I, I believe this is faux jute tubing, but you could use yarn for this. You could use a thick yarn and do the exact same thing that I'm doing right now. I'm just doing this because I think the color will really pop with this and I just wanna keep that um, consistent. So what I did is I just took a piece of the plastic canvas mesh and let me see here, I got a piece of it here. This is, you know, you're looking at something like this and then I just kinda eyeballed the middle of my wreath 
and just want to make sure that it's about the same as the middle okay it doesn't need to be a perfect center or circle just um we just want it to be enough to be able to put something in there so um i've, I've taught this before and we're just going to take our hand and you're just going to wrap around your hand your four fingers several times and it does like to get twisted here so then i'm going to take it and then pinch it in the middle and in the middle of my plastic canvas, I'm gonna pick it up here all at once. Uh, my nails don't wanna let me do it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it on the back side and run a four inch zip tie through it. You could even use pipe cleaners if you prefer pipe cleaners. You don't have to use a zip tie. I've made these with pipe cleaners many of many a time. And then just, you know, clip it off. So we've got, we've got it started, and sometimes I gotta pull because maybe my sides aren't quite even. And then I'm gonna take it again. Let's move this over here so it's hanging down for me. And I'm going to um, take my hand again and wrap it around, oh, five, six times until you get a good handful here. And then I'm going to now I'm going to push these up and connect it right here, okay? Just kind of, if it's too many wraps for you to kind of um, take with your thumb and your forefinger, then just do less wraps around your hand. Okay, so I've made my center and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not real happy with it. So let me show you what I do when um, sometimes these go great, sometimes they don't. I just make a bunch of loops and fix it afterwards if I need to. So what I do is I just, I'm gonna turn it over here and I'm gonna take some zip ties and I'm gonna run it through one side of the loops to the other to kind of pull it together. And you know, I don't like everything I do either guys. So <laughs> sometimes it doesn't always come together. So I'm just going to pull it and you won't be able to see this anyway. And what it does is it just kind of makes your, your uh, little center here a little more pulled together, I guess. I, I don't want it to look like, you know, these are loops made by, by themselves. All right. So, okay, that's getting better. And then I always cut off this extra. If I have some hanging out here, just cut it off. We don't need it. So I'm just kind of showing you what you can do. And this does not need to be perfect here. Just... Okay. So like this one has a gap. So I'm going to add another zip tie over here to kind of Just bring it together, bring it through. Okay, so now that's looking a little bit better. That's looking more the way I want it. So how are we gonna put it on? So let's move our mess out of the way here. Let's put our wreath. Um, I did cut some wire. I'm not really sure where my wire went now. <laughs> So let's cut another piece of wire from my strand of wire. And what I like to do is um, I'm going to take it and I'm going to go right in the middle of where I put one of those zip ties. I'm going to go right down in it. All right. and then pull it. So now we have how we're gonna put this in our wreath. Okay, so you're just gonna find a spot that you wanna put it down in. And you've seen me do this before. This is just kinda how we end up with it. Okay, gonna find that other wire. Okay, I got it. And so when I pull it down, it's gonna just kinda pull all those that center up as well. So the more you pull it down, see how I'm pulling that down? I'm gonna pull it really tight. Yep. 
yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut those. So if you made it this far in my tutorial here, make sure you leave me a flower emoji, okay? Um, if you're on Facebook, follow me on Facebook. If you're on Instagram, I'm on Instagram. Would love to have you follow me there as well. And um, make sure you check out my Amazon shop store. And I hope you enjoyed this version of, I guess, a lotus flower. Can you see kind of how, or a water lily? Tell me what you think. Water lily, lotus flower, tell me what you think in the comments below. But I will see you next time on Julie's Wreath Motif.